Hi everyone, I'm Dan, one of the product managers here at Ops Level, and I'm here to give you a quick look at the New Relic and Ops Level integration. To get started with the integration, you'll navigate to the Add New Integrations page in Ops Level. Then you'll find the New Relic integration card. In order to get started, you'll need a New Relic user API key, which you can get out of your user profile in New Relic. In the interest of time, I've already configured an integration with my New Relic account, but once you've entered the details and selected the New Relic account you want to keep in sync with Ops Level, we'll start to sync across your New Relic services and APM records into Ops Level as alert sources. Let's see how these alert sources can be attached to your services in Ops Level. If the service and APM records name matches the alert source aliases exactly, then we'll automatically attach them and you can find them on the Operations tab under Alert Sources. If you need to attach alert sources manually, you can press the Add Alert Sources button and search for the correct alert source. You can add one or multiple at a single time. Once you've selected the alert sources you want to connect, hit the Add Alert Sources button. It may take a moment, uh, but after refreshing, you'll see that the alert statuses are now available down on the Operations tab Alert Sources card or at the top. Now let's take a look at where the new Relic alert status can help you build extra context in Ops Level. One of the foundational elements of our internal developer portal is the service catalog. Here, you can see that I'm looking at some of my organization services, and I can quickly at a glance see the alert status based on the alert sources that are connected to the services. Let's drill into one of them. When I drill into this specific service, I can view individual alert store statuses on the operations tab, or I can view the dependency chart. The dependency chart allows me to quickly see the status of the services that I depend on and that depend on me. When I drill in, I can see the status in more detail, who owns it so I can reach out to them, or I can directly go to the service itself and self-serve things like technical documentation, actions, or other parts of the catalog that can help me out in a pinch. Another benefit of the new Relic and Ops Level integration is using Ops Level Service Maturity Framework to help your organization ensure that each of your services are making the most of New Relic's observability tooling by ensuring that services have connected New Relic alert sources. As I scroll down my rubric, you'll see that I have a New Relic alert sources present check configured in the observability category at the gold level. When I review the check details, you'll see that I can customize the check name, add some notes to help people understand what's going on, and a few other details. When I view the report, I can quickly see which of the services have an alert source configured and which ones don't. If I want to try to improve this, I can use a feature like Ops Level's campaigns to drive adoption of New Relic's observability tooling and the connections with Ops Level. Hopefully this has given you a picture of the New Relic and Ops Level integration and some of the cool things that you can do by combining our context together. Thanks for watching.